In today's video, I'm going to share with you the three most important shades of the Augmented Tried and how to use them to spice up boring chord changes. Bass hack coming up. Hey bass hackers, Misha here with MM Education, showing you how to learn faster and practice smarter by using the latest findings in neuroscience. So you can become the bass player you want to be, express yourself freely on your instrument and connect with your audience on a deeper level. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and at any point in the video go check out the show notes and links in the description. Bullet points for this episode and links to other related videos and free resources all in the description. Let's get going and build some new neural pathways. When I first started getting into the augmented triad and exploring how to use it, I ran into two problems. Number one, it always sounded unnatural and there never seemed to be a way for me to dissolve it in a way that it just sounded musical. And the other problem was, I wasn't able to play it where I wanted to throw it in the middle of a chord progression? No way, I always had to jump to that one shape that I knew, which was pretty easy to play, but not always accessible. So that's what we're here to for today. Checking out all three shapes, and then we're gonna talk about how to dissolve the augmented triad so it sounds smooth and musical. When I finally found the solution for my two problems, it was like a blanket was lifted off my eyes. Once more, I used Gary Willis' approach of thinking shapes instead of notes to accomplish playing that triad all over the fretboard, whenever I needed it, wherever I needed it. And to make it sound more natural, I used the concept which is called voice leading, but more detail on that in a little bit. Here are the three most important augmented triad shapes. Number one, the downward pointing triangle shape. Number two, the upward pointing triangle shape. And number three, the three string shape. Also, easy shape. So maybe you're sitting there watching this video and thinking, well, the augmented try doesn't really apply to the music I play. But let me give you a few examples that might make you reconsider your opinion. Number one, Led Zeppelin with Kashmir. Number two, Foo Fighters with Generator. Number three, Billy Joel with Temptation. Number four, Mariah Carey, Vision of Love. Number five, Stevie Wonder, For Once in My Life. Number six, Martha and the Vandellas, Dancing in the Street. And to be honest, almost every second Beatles song has something like that in it. Just for the sake of completion, one jazz example, Ain't Misbehavin' by Fats Waller and Harry Brook. Let's talk a little bit how you can use the augmented triad in a musical context. Number one, it could be used to get that flat 13 sound in a dominant chord. Because the augmented fifth is basically the exact same note as the flat six, the minor six, flat 13. sounds brilliant over most dominant accords. Gets a little bit of extra tension and therefore a bigger release once you release it to the following major chord. Number two, it can be used as a substitute for a dominant flat 13 chord. Flat 13, root note and major third. So there's one more implementation that I want to mention here briefly, however, and that's as an upper structure to a melodic minor chord. So the melodic minor chord has a major seven instead of a minor seven. And that kind of leaves us with this shape up here, our augmented triad, and this being the root note. Upper structure, as always, no root note. So you can just easily use it to come up with patterns for melodic minor as well. So let's have a look how this looks in the real world. If we're taking Ain't Misbehaving as an example, we have the turnaround there, E flat major, C minor, F minor, 
and B flat dominant, which they mixed up a little bit with augmented chords. What they did is they replaced the C minor chord with a secondary dominant to F minor, which is C7. Now, all of a sudden, the E flat becomes E. So that's where we get the E from the E augmented triad. And the A flat, well, that's just in the key. If you go back to the original C minor, that's Aeolian, and that one actually does have a minor 6, which is A flat. And the C explains itself, it's the root note. So, E augmented triad makes perfect sense in this case. We go further, F minor, and then G flat, F sharp augmented, whichever you want to call it. G flat is actually more correct, because it is the same concept only that we're not starting on the major third of the dominant chord we're starting on the or let's put it that way our root note new root note is not the major third of the original chord it's the flat six of the original chord which is g flat and we have b flat as root and the d is the major tr major third all dissolving perfectly into E flat major. So here's another way to use these triads in a solo situation. If I'm using that same turnaround E flat, then I go to C7 instead of C minor, F minor, and then B flat 7, I can just use these triads as my solo vocabulary. Check it out. to try it in a solo without it sounding like crap. So today I showed you the three most important augmented triad shapes and why it's worth it checking them out, even more so if you play jazz. I've given you a few examples from the pop world and I showed you how to use it in a solo context when playing over 1-6-2-5 aka turnaround. Question of the day, in which song are you going to implement the augmented triad? Let me know in the comment section. And remember, some of the coolest ideas come from you and the MM Education community. So definitely connect with everyone in the comments and let me know if there's any topic that you want me to cover in a future tutorial. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope it got you one step further towards becoming the bass player you want to be. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded my top 10 practicing hacks, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to learn more in less time. You learn about state management, practice space setup, having better focus and more. You can grab that for free with the link in the description. Until next time, MM Education helps you to learn faster and practice smarter. So keep up the good work. Love and bass.